Improving the Quality and Durability of Our Bridge Decks, an overview of internal curing for bridge deck concrete. As bridges age, many factors impact the service life, but the critical issue is preventing the salts used in winter maintenance from reaching the reinforcing steel in the bridge deck. The, the main issue we have with durability of bridge decks is cracking. If the uh, durability is tied to the permeability of the deck itself. So if we have uh, permeability issues, particularly with uh, placing salt in the wintertime, uh, we have intrusion of the salt to the steel and then eventual uh, rusting and, and deterioration of the steel itself. The characteristics of the concrete are also impacted by several factors, but curing has a significant effect on the properties of the concrete. We typically do curing that I would refer to as external curing. We do everything on the outside of the concrete. So we either seal off or try to seal off the surface with a curing compound where we prevent water from leaving the system, or we actually add water to the surface with the hopes that it would penetrate from the top surface down. Internal curing improves the curing process by distributing additional water throughout the concrete. The real idea behind internal curing is we're really trying to hide water inside of the concrete and that water is going to become available after the concrete sets. A portion of the sand in the mixture is replaced with a lightweight aggregate. We're typically talking about expanded materials. These are expanded lightweight aggregates and they're typically made out of uh, expanding clay, shale, slate, or slag. The lightweight fine aggregate, you can almost think of it as little reservoirs or sponges that are distributed throughout the cement paste. And as the cement is hydrating, it is pulling that extra water. Curing from the inside out and hydrating more of the cement improves the properties of the concrete. We're going to get a concrete that's more dense. It's going to make that concrete less permeable, and it's going to make that concrete more resistant to cracking. It provides a very uh, dense mix, less prone to shrinkage cracking, um, and that will all add to the longevity of the structure. Improving the properties will alleviate some of the issues that reduce the life of a structure. Increasing the, the service life of this bridge deck, we won't be back here for quite a while. The, the, there's no question about that. Uh, internal curing has um, incredible potential over the long term to extend the life of our decks, and we really believe at just a minimal increased cost, we'll see some incredible benefits in, in longer lasting decks. Increasing the life of the deck will reduce costs for travel delays, uh, it will um, <clears throat> increase the life of the structure, uh, and, and it will decrease the, the uh, user cost to the public who would be inconvenienced by the construction work. The potential of reducing the long-term cost associated with their bridge management program is leading Monroe County to specify internal curing on all their bridges in the future. We will be specifying this uh, mix on all, all of our projects from this point forward. The Indiana Department of Transportation has specified internally cured bridge deck concrete on four projects to start in 2013. The first of which was awarded on October 23, 2012 for the reconstruction of the bridge on State Road 933 in St. Joseph County. This technology will improve our concrete and ultimately lower the overall cost of maintaining our infrastructure. We would like to thank all of those who have sponsored and been involved in the research and its implementation. Details on the research can be obtained from the following locations. Other related references are shown here. We want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about internal curing.